Now, in the not very olden days, Jaguar had a worldwide reputation for, I was going to say quality, not quality, but <laughs> quietness, comfort, restrained good looks, and value. Now, though, they've introduced a new car, which seems to be only about one thing. Speed. 120. 130. 140. Into fifth. 150. 160. 170. In a jack! Come on! Apparently, with a long enough runway, it will hit 186. Whoa! This isn't long enough. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ow. <laughs> so, welcome everyone to the new XKRS, the most powerful road car Jaguar has ever made. The supercharged V8 has been recalibrated and the exhausts beefed up so that now it fires 542 horsepower at the rear wheels. That's on the edge of Ferrari territory. As a result, it feels and sounds as though it's being fueled by a blend of plutonium and wild animals. He's very fast. <laughs> very, very loud. And then in the corners, it'll get its tail out more readily than George Michael. There you go. Whip of throttle. A lot of smoke. Ha <laughs> ha! It's mad! A mad car! It's like Terry Thomas with a submachine gun. To make sure deaf people don't mistake the S for an ordinary XKR, the body has bigger cells, a bigger rear spoiler, and snowshoes on the bonnet. It's also got this new downturn nose, which makes it look rather disapproving, like a 1950s seaside landlady. And I'm sorry, but red brake calipers on a Jag? It's like fitting Camilla Parker Bowles with a vajazzle and and rings. I'm saying this out loud, aren't I? Inside, we find leather designed to look like carbon fibre and blue ambient lighting. The walnut from Jags of yesteryear? Gone. The gentleman's club has been turned into Grant Bowie's gym. There are other issues too. The ride is a bit harsh. Run over a pheasant, you'd be able to tell whether it was a cock or a hen. Uh, and then there's the price. It's not what you'd call cheap. In fact, it is what you'd call 97,000 pounds, and that is what you'd call nearly 100 grand. So, Jag has sacrificed subtlety, good looks, comfort, silence, and value, all of its core values, in the pursuit of speed. Would you be better off with the Nissan GTO? This is the new model, more powerful, more aerodynamic, and unbelievably, even more grippy. We're told it's a masterclass in what's technically possible right now.